What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Lime Football, and today's PSA is going to be on the banning of tinted visors. Now I haven't done an article on this, but I, if you guys like this, I might consider that as well. So to start off, um, I'm not sure how it works in the US, again, I know about Canon amateur football a lot more than I do about American amateur football, but I do know about um, what's going on here. So. Basically, there's been a lot of talk lately, not as much for big girls, but more about the tinted visors and the benefits and the not benefits, uh, who's allowed to wear them, who's not, a whole bunch of stuff. So, uh, so in Canada, amateur football, you are no longer allowed to wear a tinted visor for any reason at all. Now, you used to be able to wear them if you got a doctor's note for eye sensitivity to the sun. I'm gonna tell you about that in a little bit though. I know some secrets around that, which are not very secrety. So in Canada amateur football, you are not allowed to wear a tinted visor anymore for any reason of any level of tint. They said no more tinted visors. So the shock even let the bottom level clear mirrored visor. They didn't know referees didn't allow them, some of our players to wear them. However, because it is considered a clear visor with just a mirror finish, it is still legal in Canada. So I want you guys to know that. But just to be on the safe side, if you print up a little card, right, a little card that says the rule, and shows the visor and how it goes against that, you can prove to them that you're allowed to wear it. So that's one thing I might recommend as well. Now in NFL, it's kind of allowed, kind of a not allowed, right? Their rules are, I don't understand their rules and that goes with the uniform code. So you're allowed to wear any level of tint in the NFL. However, you can't wear colored visors in the NFL. So you can wear anything from clear, clear mirror, all the way up till the darkest of grays and blacks but you can't wear colored visor, and I think that fits into the uniform color policy as far as wearing colored eye blacks, different colored cleats that go away from the uniform policy. So I think that's where that fits in there, so it's not a big deal in there. Now, no players wear them in NCAA either. I think it's illegal in there as well, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I also don't know how it fits into um, amateur football in the uh, US. So I've had some people say they can wear them, maybe they just don't know and the refs don't care some people say they can't so I'm really not sure about that so help each other out in the comments on what's going on there but I really know in any Canada amateur football it's not allowed if you're in a men's league or something like that you can wear whatever the hell you want you can wear a big girl visor they don't care it's a men's league you're looking out for your own safety right so they're not as responsible so yeah how it used to be with this rule was if you could get a doctor's note uh, from your eye doctor optometrist saying you could wear it, then you could go out and buy a tinted visor and you could wear it and get away with it. Now, the reason they outruled them 100% now is because of this whole concussion initiative that's going on. So they, their main reasoning is uh, they don't want you to wear tinted visors because they can't see your eyes. And uh, so they want to see your eyes for concussions and they don't want to have to remove your helmet to see your eyes. So that's why they also don't allow mirror a bit because they help hinder against your eyes. And you know, that makes sense, right? Concussions are becoming a big deal nowadays. So it makes sense why. Um, you can still wear them in practice, so like who cares? If you if you have one and you like it, wear it in practice. I wear this in practice, <laughs> you know? So it's not a big deal there. So now some people don't like this rule. Um, I'm kind of for it, I'm kind of against it. I'm kind of split with the whole concussion thing, how that fits in there. So I'm not gonna take a full opinion on this, however, if you're one of the leagues where they're maybe in the US where it's still a little older, it's not like Canada where it's all across Canada, they set one basic rule. If you're in a league where you just have to get an optometrist note and you can look into this, all we did back in the day, back in the day when I was, you know, like six years ago before this was happening, is all you had to do was you'd go to the eye doctor, they you say you have light sensitivity, they'd grab a little flashlight, go shine your eye, you just get a little little bit of a wink or something. Right, to show that when they're shining the light in your eye, it's giving you a little bit of irritation. They'd write up you a simple prescription, which would allow you to use that prescription to wear your visor in the game. So it was a really simple process on how to get around. And even my coaches told me about that. That's how I first found out about it, was one of my coaches' sons was wearing one and I asked how he did it and he said that that's how all their friends were doing it. So it's really simple if you have one of the older style leagues. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. So again, comment down below. Um, how it works in the US, maybe where you live, so we can start figuring out how this all fits together. Also, don't be afraid to comment down below about uh, PSAs that you want me to do. 
uh, in the future because to be honest this is all I have right now I only have the three ideas so comment ones that you'd want to see maybe rants uh, for me to rant about or just some stuff you want to be better informed about that I could help and tell you guys about don't forget to go check out all my social media especially my Instagram that's my favorite and don't forget to go check out my website as I'm always adding articles to there. I'm always adding new stuff to the store. Uh, thanks. Mm -hmm.